Hi everybody and welcome back to my backyard once again. Today we're gonna check out the Sub 250 Nimble 65 RTF kit for beginners. And actually I already reviewed the drone standalone and it's pretty pretty good. So I'm very excited to see it included in a beginner kit. Let's open the box and see what's inside. You get a Sub 250 branded carrying case and inside you get all you need to fly this drone. The radio, the goggles and the accessories. Two Sub 250 300 milliamps 1S HV batteries. Two extra sets of propellers, replacement screws, a screwdriver, a hexagonal key and a propeller removal tool USB-C dual battery charger 2.4 GHz antenna for the radio stickers and a lot of instructions and finally let's take a look at the hardware first of all the goggles which come with a bag inside them you get two antennas marked 5.8 GHz video out cable and the micro USB cable for charging and you will also find the head strap in it these goggles have 40 channel and diversity receivers which is rare to see for entry level kits they have built-in audio and DVR recording, so you can record your flights. Let's put them on, they feel quite comfy on my face. I don't have much light leakage, not from the side, not from the top, only from the bottom. You can see a big cutout here around my nose. This is good if you have a bigger nose, but just put some foam and you will be totally isolated from external light. They are wide enough, so I feel like a small pair of goggles will fit through them if you need that. The screen is 800 by 480 and it has a decent field of view. It's a good pair of entry-level goggles. Time to check out the radio. This is a 8-channel 2.4 GHz Express LRS radio, which is very, very good because usually the radios in this entry-level kit, you throw them out once you are done with the kit because they use really not widespread protocols to control the drone and they become trash. This one, Express LRS, is super widespread and you can keep using this radio once you are done with the drone. Maybe you lose it, maybe you want to fly other stuff. This, you can keep flying it for a while. This radio feels lightweight, of course it's all made of plastic, don't expect crazy finishing on an entry-level radio, but I have to say, once you put it in the end, it's not too bad, it feels comfy enough. The gimbals don't feel too bad, and actually the gimbal heads are made of aluminum and they are adjustable, which is a premium feature on an entry-level radio. Also, this is aluminum and the switches themselves are made of metal and very clicky. On the back, you have a bind and setup button. You don't have a screen, so you will have to judge what's happening thanks to the LED in front. But it's very nice because it has Wi-Fi for upgrading the Express LRS module. This is super nice, so it's future-proof. And also, you have Bluetooth, so you can connect it to a computer and use it for a simulator. On the top, you have the four AUX switches, the USB-C for charging and for connecting to a computer, audio jack, and power on and off button. This is the antenna you have to mount before turning it on, otherwise you break the integrated transmitter, which can output 100, 250 or 500 milliwatts, which is super nice and you will get quite a bit of range with this entry-level radio. On the bottom you have the battery housing, maybe it's the less refined thing of this radio because it opens a little bit clumsily. It comes with this tray and you need to provide your own 18650 lithium-ion cells and it will be able to charge them with the USB port. Also, you can use a 2S battery in a pinch. Under the radio, you will find the drone itself, which is a premium little tiny whoop. And it comes with this super nice gray coloring. This drone is super small, super lightweight, 30 grams with the battery and very, very silent. Yet, it flies very good for its class and you can also acro a little bit. The camera in this drone can swivel so you can fly at a flat angle, so you learn how to fly first and then once you're ready you can raise the angle and start flying faster. Also it's a Cadex Ant which is very nice because it's a good camera and you're gonna have a good video stream from an analog system. If you're interested for an in-depth review of this drone, check out the description because I already reviewed it. And finally, it's a sunny day, let's fly with this drone. Let's take a battery, slot it inside, and let's go chase some chicken. <laughs> to arm the drone, turn on the radio, turn every stick towards yourself, do this with your fingers at the back, throttle at the bottom position, this stick, put it in angle because it's easier, and then this, you arm. Let's fly. Okay, so we're gonna start in angle mode, which is uh, a little bit easier if you are a beginner. I have to say this screen looks uh, quite decent to fly. It's one of the best I have seen in an entry-level kit so far. And the drone, 
Uh, I like this drone. I already tested the, the classic version of it. Super silent. It flies great indoors, outdoors, and uh, camera looks great. We have the sun against us today. And if you watch other reviews I've done of <laughs> analog drones, it's not this good. With this one, I can see where I'm going. I know there is a chicken behind it. Boom. I mean, why is the chicken running so fast with this little drone on the back? I don't know. Okay, now it doesn't care anymore. And it's such a, an inoffensive drone, this one. You can practice a lot inside, outside. Okay, let's put it in acro. And now our camera angle is not uh, perfect for acro, but this is the real way of flying FPV. It's full manual. And with this drone, you're gonna learn a lot because it's perfectly capable of flying acro. Flies really good. And it can teach you a lot. Start safely indoors and then you can transition outdoors. And for a tiny drone, it flies really, really good. Slowly, you can take things slowly. Of course, it's not as good as a toothpick or as a, a real acro made drone, but it's a nice compromise. You take this as a, at a park, super silent. Yeah. It's one of the best entry-level kits I have seen so far. Maybe the learning curve starting out is steeper because uh, you have to manage the throttle yourself with this drone. It's, it's a classic drone. It has beta flight, you can configure everything. I think it's a good uh, mixer between um, you can do everything and it's all set up at the beginning. So a beginner should not have too many issues flying because if you put it in angle, it's gonna be very, very, very forgiving. You can bounce off of stuff. It's not gonna be hard to learn. You see? Just take it slowly, fly slowly, and soon you're gonna be doing this kind of stuff. Also, I really, really recommend flying a lot on the simulator first because uh, it's, gonna, it's gonna help you save this drone a little bit more. Actually, this drone, I have tested the uh, normal version, the blue pigment, probably, on the, um, on the frame of this drone, made it a little bit fragile. So, uh, the first drone I had of this broke super, super fast. Okay, we have to land. It tells you at the bottom of the screen. So, this is light enough, so you can even land on yourself. No. <laughs> because the switches are opposite of what I use regularly, so <laughs> I don't find them super intuitive. So the goggles processor is a little bit slow. Every time you do something, you need to allow it 5-10 seconds. But it works fine, you can even rewatch the flights you did on the goggles themselves. You need to put a SD card inside. The battery life on this drone is not amazing. You will get 2 three minutes maximum of life. So get many batteries if you want to rock it. And now I have tilted the camera angle a little bit more so the drone is gonna be faster and better for agro. Don't do it if you are a beginner. Of course, it will not be a crazy, crazy fast drone, but you can see now we are going much faster and the chicken don't really approve of it. <laughs> but this is much better if you want to start doing some tricks And it's, it can really teach you a lot, this drone. From uh, dealing with beta flight, the tuning is fine, so you don't need to touch it, and I don't suggest you touching it if you not, don't know what you're doing. But it can teach you level mode, angle indoors, acro outdoors a little bit. It's not the perfect drone for acro, but in the, it will be very safe, at least. It doesn't have a ton of inertia, so the maneuvers, uh, you have to really put a lot of intent to them. And uh, oh. Also, this drone has a setting called turtle mode. Now I will need to look for it. This one, this which put it all the way at the bottom, turn on the drone and give it throttle. And you see it flips. Then remember to disarm this function and arm again as normal. 
and the drone is ready to fly again. This is very nice if you land maybe on a roof and uh, you need to dislodge your drone maybe also from a tree. Hi chicken! Now my camera angle is a little bit high to follow the chicken slowly. I need to, to spin around them. I'm confusing them. They don't know what to do. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this kit, I like it. The camera is good for being analog and uh, it's a really good compromise between safety and agility. Oh my god! I mean, the chicken have to go many ways, so <laughs> I will make them go home with the drone. Come on, come on. Oh, I cannot possibly hurt them with this one. But I'm not trying to crash against them anyways. <laughs> Land now, again, the battery is empty. How much have we been flying? Two minutes and 33. And that's all for this entry level FPV kit. I feel like I can totally recommend it because it's easy -ish to start learning, but still very inoffensive. But it can teach you so many lessons, you can progress very, very far into the FPV hobby. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment on this video. Let me know what you think about this drone and if you have any recommendation. If you wanna buy something, check out the links down in the description below, clicking on them. You help this channel a lot, and many times you also find discounts. Stay safe and happy flying. Bye.